Welcome to Objects and Friends. Let's learn about objects. Many programming languages are object-oriented, including Python, Java, and our very own CoffeeScript. In CodeMonkey, objects are the characters on the screen. And because CoffeeScript is object-oriented, it means that you can use those objects in your code. Let's look at an example. Here's a challenge that has several characters on the screen. You can tell which characters are objects by hovering your mouse on top of the character. And if a name pops up, it means it's an object that you can use in your code. So of course the monkey, got the turtle, both bananas, and all these bushes. But is the ruler an object? No. And Gordy isn't one either. But all these other images are objects. Now, let's see how we would solve this challenge. So we want the monkey to get the apple in the stream and also the apple, the banana in the stream, and also this banana. So the monkey will have to somehow, I think, get on the turtle, have the turtle move across the river, and then go and get this banana also. So what we could do is we have the command turn to, and we could turn to any object. I mean, I could turn to one of these bushes, but I think I want to turn to the turtle. So I will say turn to, and because this is an object-oriented program, I could just say turtle. And then I could step. Now, I don't need to mention the monkey in my code because since the monkey is the main character of the challenge, you never it, it automatically will do the monkey. The step and the turn to will automatically refer to the monkey. Uh, but if we want the turtle to step, I'd have to mention the turtle. So right now we're going to have the, the monkey step 10. So let's run that. Okay, so now the monkey is on the turtle. So next we want the turtle to go and step. So because we want the turtle to step, I actually have to say turtle step. And let's see how far it is. Okay, I think it's 15. Okay, so turtle step 15. So it's actually turtle period step step space 15. Okay, let's run that. Okay, we're all lined up. I could have the monkey turn to the banana object, but they're saying I also could just walk backwards and that would be less code. So let's do that. So do you remember how to make the monkey walk backwards? Yeah, you use a negative number. Okay, let's run one more time. Okay, we did it. Well, hopefully that explains how different characters are objects and you can use them in your code. Now it's your turn to use objects. Good luck.